All right, so we're going to try and do a goods receipt against an existing purchase order. So I'm going to start by going into purchasing, down to goods receipt PO, brings up my goods receipt PO window, and I have a delivery note from the supplier. So I'm going to put in the supplier's name, T-I-R-E-C-T, -E and if I just stop typing at that for a moment, uh, SAP has a chance to go away and find a list of suppliers whose name contains the word direct. Okay. Now you notice I did that in the name field, not in the code. So just bypass code straight down to the name field. I'm going to select direct distribution. I'm going to then come down to the bottom right hand corner, select and copy from. I'm going to look at existing purchase orders I have with that supplier, and I have one. I'm going to select all the purchase orders that I have for that supplier. Just click and choose. And that then allows me to either draw in all lines or just customize for selected lines. So just customize in this instance. Click on next. And there's only the one line on this and it's for an item. The uh, item is RS232EXTC1GB. That happens to be the item that I have on the list as well. My quantity, the quantity I ordered, appears to have been 11. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it should be 14. We received 14, yes, although there's no, a 9 in there. Only 9 came in, so there's, well, I've given that there's 11 orders and only 9 came in. Okay. Well, they say they dispatched 14. But then they crossed it off. Let me see how many I was supposed to order. Okay, so the PO says 11. Yeah. The delivery note originally said 14, but it's been manually overwritten with 9. So, curious. How many did you actually physically get? Nine. You got nine. Okay, so we know we got nine. All right. I ordered 14. There's 14 on my PO. So did you receive three already or something? If I drill back into your PO, mm -hmm. you ordered 14, but the quantity... Oh, we're stuff. Yeah, that, that's fine. It's just test data. No, we did that yesterday. Test data. God, it's a stepping heart attack. Okay, so that's, that explains where that's coming from. We have, but but Keith is saying that we only received physically. Yes, nine that's true. Somewhere too a bit later. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, but now uh, this is curious because they're saying they've dispatched fourteen and the remaining is zero. So they didn't. They manually updated. Did right. they so write that down? Yeah. We need to scan that in and send it back to. Them. We apparently say, we do. Yeah. Update 14. your back. Put a, put this on back order or something. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. So that's fine. So we're, we're going to click on so. Apologies for, for all that drama, but we're, 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 going to, um, we're going to receive nine units against this line. Okay, so just click on finish. And that now, we're still in the goods receipt PO window. I have this supplier and I'm now receiving nine of those items. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what day did I get them? Well, this says it was dispatched on the 2nd of January. What date did I actually receive them, Keith? The 8th. The 8th. Okay, so we just put in the 8th of January as our, our, our posting date and our due date. That's all we need. Okay. And we click on the add button. We cannot change this document after we've added it. Is it okay to continue? If we say yes, that's it. It's green bar on the bottom of the screen tells me that the operation has completed successfully. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you'll see we've still got a blank PO window. If I click back one screen, I can see that it's now added the, uh, the goods received PO for that item. And how do you print off confirmation then? So okay. if you want to print a confirmation, you just click on that button there and it'll, oh, it'll print a, uh, a document CC. It's yeah. this little guy here, or I could just hit the print icon oh, up there. Yeah, right. print icon. Is there any way we can put what's outstanding on there? Yeah, there's a field there. There is a, well, it's not showing up on that, that particular printout, but I can certainly put, um, oh, nice. put it in there so we have the outstanding quantity as well. We want to have that on the PO. Yeah, well, but if we had it on that, on that good, good so then you don't file it until you get everything. Or maybe file it in a partial completion file or something. Yeah, because that's how you check your back orders. Yeah. Well, your back orders and dimensions, if you just actually come in, or sorry, what's that? If you come back into your back orders, you can, or into the goods received PO, I can have a look at. Uh, okay, it's just that often we would usually. We put that in with the sales order, that delivery document, or it wouldn't read. So yeah. then, if, if it was clear on it that it was somewhere outstanding, I think that's kind yeah. of handier. Yeah. So we have, I know no it's worries. on here, but that we could physically, if we look in the file, we're like, okay. 
Yeah. Maybe but, have like an outstanding kind of like say if they have like have this order, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 and they push together and just stick them all in. Yeah. So you, you, I mean, like the system is telling you there that you have you have a, a back order for still yeah. two units outstanding. Okay, you know, you know, we, you know there's actually five outstanding. Yeah. Which we did the uh, the test yes. one yesterday. Yeah. All right. Cool.